Good morning. I'm Tammy Jamison. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from the state of Washington. I live in the Tri-Cities area. Um, if you like my demonstration today, please um, like the video, share it with others. Um, if you want to see other things, leave me a comment of the things that you would like to um, see and I will try to demonstrate them. Um, if you would like to uh, have me as your demonstrator and place an order, you can go to stampinup.com. Place an order there. Um, find me as the demonstrator. I would really appreciate that. Um, I will get credit for it. Otherwise, I don't, and I don't know who you are or if you're doing business with me. Um, but only if you don't have a demonstrator already. Um, or you can email me that order at tmscraps at yahoo.com and I'll be glad to place that order for you. I can ship anywhere in the United States. Um, if you live in Canada or in Europe or whatever, you'll have to find a demonstrator in those places because um, I can't um, cross the borders in that sense. Um, but I'll be happy to have you watch my videos. In today's video, um, I'm going to demonstrate how I did this background um, and I'm going to show it with a couple of different um, embossing folders. Uh, this one is a 3D one and I'm going to show you what happens if you use a 2D and what happens if you do it on the back side um, of each one. I already have my cardstock cut at five and a half by four and a quarter for this demonstration and I'm doing them on white. Now these embossing folders can be used on uh, colored cardstock too, and you can do color on color. Um, it gives a different effect, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, the one folder that I'm using is called Painted Textures, and it can be bought separately um, right here on page 33. Uh, it is $9 for the folder. Or you can get it in the bundle right now, the Fine Art Floral Bundle, um, or not bundle, but suite. It'll come with it along with um, this fun glitter or foil art uh, sticky stuff, the powder to put it on with. Um, this don't stick. It sticks to the powder when you heat it up. It's got beautiful paper. Um, I didn't buy the suite but I have this and I have the folder and I have that. So it can be found on page 33 of the mini catalog. And the other one that I'm using is a discontinued one, but I did find that um, you can, let me get to the right page. You can get one that's similar to it right now out of the annual catalog called this tin tile 3D. Mine is actually buttons and it is not a 3D one. So that's why I pulled this one out is because it is not 3D. And then I have this one that I'm not going to use, um, but I thought it was kind of cool how its effect turned out when I used it on green. Um, this one would be equivalent to um, maybe the mini greenery one that's on page uh, 184 or even this metal moments one and they're small ones they'll fit in the mini emboss folder um, but it's a 3d one and this is what it looked like when I used the ink on the uh, embossing folder and I'm also going to bring in the embossing folder or embossing machine which can be found here on page 170 and I'm using the big one for this demonstration today and I'll show you the layers for each one of the embossing folders. So for the 3D folder you need plate one because it's a 3D one and the special number four plate. Okay so I'm gonna get my embossing machine up here and this is big machine. Okay, so I'm going to move it off to the side just a little bit so I can show you what I do. Okay, for this, you see the Stampin' Up! symbol? This is, means this is the top, and 
where it's made at is on the bottom. So for the first one that I'm going to do, I'm going to take the ink pad full on. And I'm going to just ink up. the side with the um, the side with the uh, stampin up symbol on it is the side that I'm inking up making sure I get everywhere I need to okay so this is what it looks like right now I'm going to take one of those pieces of paper and I'm going to place it on this side that has no ink on it, okay? Reason for that is I want to make sure that I can get it where it needs to be. I got it inside the folder, then I'm going to very carefully put the folder down, not wiggling it, and sandwich it between plate one and plate four. Okay, now I'm gonna run it through my machine being careful not to get my ink. Okay, so I get it started in my machine. And yes, it wiggles the table and I'm sorry. This is why I always have stuff done ahead of time because of how bad it wiggles the table. Okay, so doing it on that side, this is the effect that I get on my paper. Doesn't that look beautiful? I absolutely love how um, they turn out. Okay, so now I'm going to clean that up. And I just use a baby wipe to wipe it off with. You can take it into your bathroom sink, kitchen sink, or whatever, and um, run it under it since it is a water-based marker. But I'm just going to, for time's sake, try and wipe it off best I can with a towel or baby white here. And I have a dry towel off to the side that I'll dry it off with. Ooh, now I'm red everywhere. So it would have been better to take it in and dry it off on the bathroom, but that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna do it on the other side of the paper and it'll be reversed of what you see there um, on the first one. Again, ink up the whole folder. Okay. Bring out your paper. And this time I'm gonna place it on the opposite side. Center it. And it would probably be better if I pulled the this way. Okay. And again, since it's a 3D folder, I'll do the same sandwich. Plate one on the bottom, plate four on top. Bring my machine in. And run it through my machine. Always making sure that the fold line uh, faces the side you put in first so it doesn't mess up your folder. If you have to do it sideways, that's okay. Um, sometimes you just want to, your cards have to be put in a different way. Okay, so I'm going to lift this one up. And as you can see, when I do it reverse, the difference between the one side and the other, um, let me see here. Okay, so if you look at them side by side, what the difference one does inside the grooves and then the other one pops out. So this one was the right side and this was actually the wrong side and neither one of them looks great. Okay, so that's that folder. Now let's try it with a uh, regular non-3D folder. And for it, I need my cutting plates. Um, find them here. Okay, so for the um, 
regular plates, I need, or for the normal folders, not the 3D ones, I need plate one, which is this one, and two of plate three. So I'm going to put plate three one down. I'm going to grab this folder, which is a single embossed folder, not a 3D one. And again, I will ink it up on the front side, not the back side. Just make sure I get it as far down as I can go and get it really good coverage. Okay, so that looks like I have really good coverage on there. I'll take my folder, put it down here on the non-painted side now, get it lined up where I want it, pull this over, set it down, put it inside here, and hope it didn't move. It looked like it might have. Okay, sandwich it. Put it back in my emboss machine. And then run it through. Okay. on this. My paper kind of slid at the bottom. But that's what that one will look like. Um, not as not three-dimensional. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember which one was 3D. So you can see that it's more, you know, wherever it was raised up to be raised up, it's more white. This one has it in different layers. Um, so that's kind of the difference between the two, um, as you can see. Now I'll try this on the reverse side. I'll need another baby wipe or two because I'm totally covered in ink now. Yeah, so much easier if I run them under the sink. <laughs> but just to show you guys, so I don't have to, I'll do this one on the other side also. And then I'll do one on plain paper just to show you what it looks like um, on plain paper, if I have time here. And red is a bad color because it gets on everything. But that's all right. You can deal with ink, right? At least I'm not sticking my hand in the ink pad. <laughs> okay, so this one I'm going to put on the opposite side. Of the folder. And try and get it as really well inked up. Yeah, I got some on my cutting mat here. So that's ready to go. I'll take my last piece of white and I'm going to put it on this side. Get it where I need it to be. Bring my folder over. Try not to move anything. Hold it in place. Grab my other. Okay. 
Now I'll run it through. Same thing. Okay, now if I hold this one up against this one, you can see the difference of what each side does. Kind of cool, huh? Okay, now if I run these folders, um, I'm going to use the flower ones, or yeah, the flowered one since it don't have ink on it and show you how to um, emboss on a sol solid piece of paper and what they look like when they're on solid pieces of paper. And this one's a 3D folder. Um, so I don't need these two plates. I need that gray plate back. And I'm going to use a colored, a colored piece of paper, if I can find one that's close enough here. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I have this piece of paper, and I'm going to put it in my folder and put it down and then sandwich it between one and four because it's a 3D folder. Pull in the cut and emboss machine and run this through. And it runs through quite easily. Um, it wiggles my table a lot. So if the video shakes, I'm extremely sorry. Okay, so if it's just on regular paper, this is what they look like. And now I can put this on white cardstock or I can put it on the same color of cardstock um, and give it, you know, two dimensions by cutting it down to um, four by five and a quarter um, and make it as a matte piece. But that's what they look like. I hope you enjoyed my video today um, of showing you how to do these painted techniques with your ink pad and your bossing folders to get different styles of um, paper. Anyway, thank you again for watching. If you want me as a demonstrator, please contact me. Um, I appreciate the business and we'll talk to you later. Bye.